Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I will be teaching you how to make a camera zoom in when you click the right mouse button. So this is going to be teaching you how to switch cameras in game real time and also about an awesome controller node thing in the logic bricks that is just really awesome. So let's get to it and let's learn. Alright, so we're going to start off by adding all the objects we're going to be needing for this tutorial. So delete all of these and let's add in a empty and this one will do. Alright. And also we want to add in a camera object and alt R to clear the rotation. Now go to the side view. Uh, sorry, side view. And then we want to rotate this to about there. And then move it out a bit from the empty. Alright. Then we want to duplicate this again and move it forward. And then we want to change the... Uh, Focal length to something like 100. Alright, as you can see, the focal length is a lot more than this one. Quick tip, if you're making a first person shooter, you should probably not have this focal length at 35. That is quite zoomed in. I'm not quite sure on the actual amount that it's good for, like that kind of thing. But 35 seems a bit high. 20... Seems quite good, maybe a little bit zoomed out, so you might want to try 25 or something. You might want to play around with that, but if it feels a bit weird with that, it's probably because this camera feels a little bit zoomed in. Alright, so now that we've got this all set up, we want to name the object. So, we are going to start off by naming this camera right here. And we are going to come. make sure we're not naming this, because... This, we, if we were to name this, we'd be naming the camera data, and we don't need to worry about it. So we want to name the object. So come to this object panel, and there'll be a name thing right here. So I'm going to call this cam. And then we're going to call this one cam zoom. All right. So now that that's done, we want to parent them by grabbing both of them, then grabbing the empty last, and we're going to go control P, parent to object. Now you can see as we move it around they will follow. Alright so we're going to start off now by setting up the game logic. So we're going to change this from Blender Render to Blender Game and also over here we're going to change this from default to Game Logic. Alright so we want to add a cube in as point of reference. So I'm going to bring this up to about here just so we can you know See that everything's working, everything's working. Alright. So, we're going to grab this empty and we want to set up all the logic. So, to quickly, I'm going to, we're going to quickly set up a look system so we can look around since Blender has this amazing new feature. What's well, had it for a while now, so I guess it's not new, but it's still pretty cool. So, we want to come here and we want to add in a mouse sensor. There we go. And we want this to be a mouse movement in the mouse event. So mouse movement. And then we want to add a actuator and we want a mouse actuator. And we want this to be a look. And then we're going to connect this up. So now if we were to come into camera view. And look, as you can see, we can look around and everything. So when we click the right button, we want to switch cameras to this camera so it zooms in. So, I'm going to set up the logic on this empty, because it seems the best place to set up the logic. So we want to add a mouse sensor, and we want this to be a right click. And then we want to add in two scene actuators. So, two of them, scene, and we want to change the mode to set camera for both of them. Alright, set camera. And we will, this top one, when we click the right button, we want it to set it to camera zoom. When we uh, let go, we want it to set it back to cam, all right? If we close these both, we want to add in to controller. So we're going to add in an and, that doesn't really matter. And we want to add in a an NAND right here. And what this is going to do is... When we get a negative output, as in we let go of the right 
button, it's going to send a signal through this one. When we click it, it's going to send a signal through this one. So if I was to connect this one up to here, and then we were to connect this one up to here, and then this one up to here, and this one up to here, you will see that we press play, look around, and then we click the right button, we zoom in. As you can see, you might it de depends on how much you want to zoom in, you can just change that focal length. As you can see, it looks really nice and it works, and everything just works perfectly. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or ideas for upcoming tutorials, comment them down below. And also subscribe because I come out with a new tutorial every single week. Now I usually come out on Friday, but lately it's been a little bit... Ugh. I'm thinking about changing that to Monday, so... I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm not quite sure when this is going to be up. Still not have internet, so it's going to be hard to upload. So, see you next week sometime.